Welcome to OpenShift with Volterra, Module 2, Volt Mesh for Red Hat OpenShift on ROSA. In this scenario, we will showcase using Volt Mesh to deliver services for ROSA. We will do this through three simple steps. First, we will create an AWS VPC site for ROSA. Then we will discover the OpenShift application server. And then finally, we will create an HTTP load balancer to route traffic to AWS Cloud. Red Hat OpenShift on AWS, ROSA, is a fully managed service. With ROSA, developers can enjoy more simplified Kubernetes cluster creation without the burden of manually scaling and managing the underlying infrastructure. The ROSA service may be deployed directly from the AWS console. In this demo, we created a ROSA cluster using the ROSA CLI and deployed a Red Hat OpenShift cluster along with the needed AWS components as shown in the slide. Now let's navigate to the OpenShift console. Here, as you can see, we start with a ROSA cluster already provisioned in the environment with seven nodes, three master nodes, two infrastructure nodes, and two worker nodes. In terms of endpoints, we also deployed a sample hipster application, including the front-end service that we are going to publish to the other cloud or internet. So now let's move over to the Volterra console to create the AWS site. Start by navigating to Site Management and select AWS VP Sites. Click Add AWS VP Site, and this will open a form to be filled out with the site's details. Following the wizard, we'll go ahead and fill in some details of the site. Here we're deploying to an existing VPC or the ROSA VPC. We'll use the site as ingress gateway to the VPC and select one interface deployment. We'll save the configuration and move on. Now we go ahead and apply and wait for the complete status to see that the changes have been applied. Now we'll go ahead and verify the status. Here you can see the size created and successfully connected to two Volterra region ledges and ready to use. Moving on, let's move to the second step and discover the OpenShift endpoints using Kubernetes KDS service. We go ahead and navigate to app management and select service discoveries. We start to create a discovery configuration object and the discovery object form gets loaded. Here we go again, start to enter the fields. As you can see, we're configuring ROSA OpenShift site for discovery configuration. Select KDS discovery method field. Click configure. Next, we go ahead and configure access credentials. Click Save and create the discovery object and refresh. And we start to verify the service discovery here. You can see it displays the number of services discovered, including the front end service. Moving forward, we're going to create an HTTP load balancer to connect the Azure cloud to the internet. Start with opening the form and configuring the properties. Fill in the HTTP load balancer details, enter a domain that we already delegated to and will be managed by the Volterra cloud. Then go ahead and create the origin pool that will be used for the load balancer. Select the type for it. For this demo, we'll be selecting KADS name origin discovery server. And we're going to specify port 80, although not always the case in most circumstances. So we'll change it from 443 to 80 for purposes of this demonstration. Click apply. By default, the HTTP load balancer is set to advertise the VIP to the internet for the demo. We save the load balancer configuration. Now we're ready to test the application service. We can access the VIP the application via the Volterra network. And you'll see we're on the hipster store. 
style online. Here you can see all the different application metrics in a second, such as request rate, error rate, latency, and throughput. And the request enters the Volterra Edge Cloud. That sums it up. Thank you for watching.